Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cornea Impression. Care to guess which car am I driving today? Well, if you can't guess, I'll let you know. It is the brand new Opel Mocha. Baby, I got when you feel like falling, I'll be there to move. Opel is a German car manufacturer and the Mocha is their take on a family friendly CUV or crossover crossover utility vehicle. My cameraman is giving me that look, what the hell is a CUV? And I'm educating him saying that CUV stands for crossover utility vehicle. So yes, this is a CUV designed to take on the city roads, designed to take on your urban commute for you, your friends and your family. Is it good enough for it or is it good at it? I'll let you know in a bit. So you're going to be wondering what's under the hood over there. It has a 1.2 liter turbocharged engine producing 130 horsepower mated to an eight speed automatic transmission, sending power to the front wheel. Now, in these kind of cars, your zero to 100 timings don't matter because it's not designed to do that. It's designed to transport you around to wherever you need to go with ease, with comfort, with style, with a lot of presence. Talking about safety features, this car has a few of them. It has active lane keep assist, cruise control, airbags, and a host of other features to make sure that you are safe at all times. When you're driving at city speeds, the car can get slightly laggy with the turbo lag coming into play, but cross the 40, 50 km per hour mark and you're completely okay. It cruises very well down the highway. When it comes to comfort, the seats are super comfortable. I'm sitting in a very nice space. I can see all around me. The visibility is excellent. Kind of puts you in that nice commanding position. And when you talk about city driving, that means you want to get into those tight spots. This car does it with ease. And surprisingly, the handling is very good. It handles very well for a car of its height and size. Nippy little thing. It can go dart in and out. Only thing is that you have to be in the right gear to get the right amount of power to do that efficiently. So let's talk about the looks of the Opel Mocha. Now, if you look at it, it has a nice boxy, squarish kind of shape. Very handsome looking car. I like. Opel's new design language and new design styling. It's got the blacked out brand new Opel logo and the complete front face is black. The good thing is it looks pretty cool, but in the night, it'll be hard pressed to tell what brand of car you're driving. So I would suggest maybe Opel get something contrasting. But if you notice, it's got this handsome pair of headlights with a L-shaped character over here for the LED. Very classy looking touch, it makes the car look very funky, very sporty, very elegant at the same time. It's not in your face. So they got the styling just about right. You notice it's got glossy over here, matte black over here and glossy paint over here. Now let's talk about the sides. Depending on the trim level you choose, you can get the rims in 17 inches or 18 inches. My personal choice would be not to go with the blacked out rims, but I'm sure a lot of you like the blacked out look. So you all will enjoy the look of this car and these rims as well. Again, gloss black over here black cladding on the side. The paint scheme is two tones. It's got a gloss black roof and green shade over here. It's got a very, very funky city vibe going for it. A nice hatchback kind of C pillar. And the taillights mimic the L shape in the front of the headlights. Also, obviously the black mocha badging over here. So all in all, a very characterful looking car it won't blend in into the city environment or with other hatchbacks or CUVs. So yes, Opel got it spot on with the styling. I was given the choice of shooting or filming between a white car and a green car. I chose the green car because it just pops. It looks so much better in videos and photographs. And it's just a cool looking color in the end. And the car stands out. The green color suits the car, it pops. Hence, we actually underexposed for our photographs because the color is so bright. It's a good color, you should get it in green. Don't go for the plain white, black, blah, blah, blah colors. I mean, yes, you probably get more money when you sell them, but go for some fun in life. 
Let's talk about the front space. You sit in a nice commanding position. You can see all around. Visibility is great. Materials are excellent. Well, materials are decent. Build quality is solid. It's got touchscreen infotainment over here, a digital dash over here. Now this is the base model. When you go for a higher spec model, both of these screens increase in size. A nice cool bit is the gear lever. As you can see, it's a button operated. So you go park, reverse, neutral, drive, manual. Very cool thing to have. Very funky. Again, this is a dynamic funky car. So you want all these kind of touches. I like the, the contrast in the seats over here. So it's got this textured fabric over here and then regular fabric and then leather it on the side with contrast stitching with red accents and gray. A lot of thought has been gone in designing these seats. Also, well, this is fake carbon fiber or plastic over here, but again, looks good, adds charm to the interior. I'm five foot eight inch, so there's enough room for me at the back. It's a comfortable space. There's decent amount of leg room, head room, and two passengers can sit comfortably at the back. No problem at all. I'm not a fan of too much black inside, and this is what Opel needs to change. They, they make the cars with the interiors too black which is where they can definitely improve rest again if you see the door thing no detailing over here on the door side it's just plain black i mean it could definitely do with some kind of color stitching contrast or some other material coming into play but all in all a decent place to be in Baby, I got when you feel like falling, I'll be there to now, the Opel Mocha starts at 100,000 dirhams and goes up to 110,000 dirhams depending upon the spec you choose. What is my take on it? I think the price is slightly higher on the higher side and the competition is very, very tough at the moment. So before you buy the Opel Mocha, go test drive the Opel Mocha. See if it fits your personality. See if it's vibrant enough for you or if you're vibrant enough for it actually, because this is a very vibrant car and definitely I've enjoyed driving it. So thank you for watching. Looking forward to seeing you guys in our next review. Until next time, bye. Oh, I need to drive, sorry. Bye, you guys can go.